Bible question of the day. Was it a Sabbath, the Lord's day in Revelation 1 verse 10? So I'm going to be using the Lexicon Strong's Concordance and the King James Version of the Bible to answer this question. So let's look at Revelation 1.10. It says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So to answer this question, I'm going to go through a couple other scriptures. First, we're going to look at Exodus. We're going to look at Exodus 31.17. Let's look at Exodus 31.17. Because we're looking at what it means to be in the Spirit. Does it represent the Sabbath? So Exodus 31, 17 says, It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So we're going to look at two things here. The seventh day he rested, and then he was refreshed. So we're going to look at the definition of refreshed here. We're going to look at refreshed. So we're going to go down to the definition in the lexicon here. And we're going to look at refreshed. And was refreshed. H5314. Now I want you to take note of this. Because refreshed shows to take a breath. To refresh oneself is to take a breath. You see where it says, as if by a current of air. So he's saying, he rested. Let's go back here. He rested on the seventh day, which is also the Sabbath. And then he was refreshed. So is it representing the Sabbath? So we're going to look at that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at Romans. We're going to look at another verse here. We're going to look at Romans 8:11. So Romans 8 verse 11. Romans 8:11 says, "But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you." So he's saying here, you see we're looking here in Revelation 110, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So this Lord's day we're looking at is not going to represent the Sabbath. It's going to represent the day he was refreshed, which also represents him being raised from the dead. So let's look at that. We're going to look at the cross reference here. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead Dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. So let's look at the cross reference to this here. And we're going to look at the section here where it says, But the but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, if the spirit of him the spirit that belongs to Christ, that raised him up from the dead, dwell in you. So let's look at that section there. We're going to look at this section here. The cross references to him are the scripture references to that part of the verse. So we're going to look here and we're going to look at some of these scriptures. Let's look at some of these scriptures and read them. Romans 8, 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Romans 4, 24. But... For us also, to whom it shall be imputed, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, 
who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification, who was delivered for our defense offenses and was raised again for our justification. Acts 2, 24, whom God had raised up having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. Acts 2, 32 and 33. This Jesus hath God raised up, wherefore we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. Ephesians 1, 19 and 20. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Hebrews 13, 20. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. 1 Peter 1, 21. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Let's go back up here and let's focus on Ephesians 1.20. Which he wrought in Christ. What did he wrought in Christ? You see these workings here? Workings of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ. He's doing this in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. So I want you to, I want you to focus on Ephesians 1.20. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Exodus. We're going to go back to Exodus. And now we're going to look at the cross-reference to Exodus. The seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the section here where it says, and was refreshed, because this is going to represent being in the spirit. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, which represents Revelation 1.10. So let's go back here and where it says, and was refreshed. And we're going to look at Psalms. Let's look at Psalms here. We're going to go down to Psalms 104.31. You see, this was already predetermined in Psalms. The glory of the Lord, Lord, capital L-O-R-D, God the Father, shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. That's why I was telling you to, re to remember where I showed you Ephesians 1.20. These works were wrought in Christ by God the Father. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. So his works represents this refreshing that's going to represent the spirit that also represents the resurrection. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet.